composed of two door leaves. The passenger saloon doors are electrical sliding doors fitted in both the DT and M cars. There are eight saloon doors in each car. Four on each side of the car. The saloon doors are used by the passengers to get on and off the train from the platforms. The technical parameters of the saloon doors are as follows. The passenger saloon door has the following important parts. The loading guide rail is fixed to the car body and has the loading rollers, guiding rollers and the anti-jumping rollers. It loads the door leaves and ensures proper movement of the door while opening and closing. The loading rollers bear the weight of the door leaves and vertically position the door leaves. The guiding rollers guide the door leaves during the door opening and closing process and bear the transverse load on the door leaves. They are also called the transverse loading rollers. The anti-jumping rollers. The anti-jumping rollers touch the upper surface of the loading guide rail and prevent the door leaves from jumping up and down while door movement. There are two door leaves, the right door leaf and the left door leaf. Fixed glass window. Side sealing rubber. Side sealing rubber is provided on both door leaves which sticks with the car body at the door close position and provides proper sealing to the car body. Front sealing rubber. Two front sealing rubbers on the door leaves, one male and one female, provide sealing function at the door close position. The threshold assembly. The threshold is mounted on the car body to guide and orient the movement of the lower portion of the door leaves. It also provides adequate sealing of the door with the car body. The emergency egress device or the EED is the internal emergency door unlocking device found on top of every saloon door. In emergency conditions, the handle of the EED is operated and the related saloon door can be opened from inside the saloon car. Before the train restarts, the EED has to be reset. Before operation of EED, the mode selector should be put on standby position or the EDCU circuit breaker should be in tripped condition. The emergency access device or the EAD is the external emergency unlocking device located on each side of every DT and M car. It is located on TO side for the second door and on the non TO side for the third door. In emergency situations, a staff member can open the cover plate of the EAD and rotate the shaft with a square key. Now the saloon door can be opened manually from outside. Before operation of EAD, the mode selector should be put on standby position or the EDCU circuit breaker should be in tripped condition. The isolation lock assembly. In case a door is faulty, the isolation lock assembly of the faulty door can be operated with a square key to isolate the faulty door. After isolation, the door remains in closed condition. End stopper. Two end stoppers, one on right and one on left are provided on both the ends of the loading guide rail outside the saloon doors. They control the opening width of the door leaves. Adjusting the door opening width of the door leaves can be done by adjusting the end stoppers.
The motor assembly. Motor assembly drives the door system to open and close. It provides power to the spindle shaft that rotates, driving the door leaves to open and close via the driving bracket assembly connected to the door leaves. Spindle shaft. The spindle shaft is a long rod-like structure with grooves on its surface. It is connected to the motor assembly, driving brackets and the end locking assembly. It draws power from the motor and drives the door leaves to open and close. Terminal block assembly. Electronic door control unit. The electronic door control unit or the EDCU is assembled on the mounting base of the load carrying mechanism. It is equipped with a microprocessor that controls the communication between the door system and the TCMS. The door system is controlled according to the internal and external information received from the EDCU. End locking device. The end locking device is found at one end of the spindle shaft and provides end support to the spindle shaft. It is also connected to the Bowden cable of the EED and the EAD and helps in the emergency unlocking of the saloon doors. Close open switch. One pair of close open Limit switches are provided behind the loading guide rail of the door system. As soon as the door is closed or open, the switch sends a signal to the TCMS regarding its close or open status. Only after the TCMS has received this information can the train be put to operation. Lock unlock switch. One pair of lock unlock limit switches are located above the driving arm bracket assembly. As soon as the door is unlocked or locked, the switch sends a signal to the TCMS regarding the locked or the unlocked status of the doors. Only after this can the train be operated. The isolation switch. The isolation switch is located on the loading mechanism behind the close open limit switches. Whenever a faulty door is isolated, the isolation switch locks a door and at the same time sends a signal to the TCMS regarding its isolated status. This is the help page of TCMS for your reference. This is the working principle of the closing and opening of saloon doors. Push the two red buttons located on the left side of the cab wall panel to open the left side saloon doors. To close the left side saloon doors, push the green button located on the same panel on the left side cab panel. To open all the right side saloon doors, press the red button on the right side on the cab wall panel. Similarly, push the green button to close the right side saloon doors.